Coming to you for our week five red zone report from Ottawa High School. The Owls came away victorious tonight, 16 to nothing over the Ray County Golden Eagles in what everybody anticipated. Kind of the region championship game turned out to be kind of a defensive battle. Interesting to say the least. For River City Sports, I'm John Neal, Eric Sisson, talking about this week five matchup. What was interesting about this Owls 16 to nothing victory as they go in a, a bye week per se and Ray County going to Indiana next week? Well, I think coming into this game, last year Ray County scored 41 on the Owls defense. Owls defense giving up six and a half points per game so far this year. That'll draw up after tonight, of course. But Ray County's offense has been super explosive early parts of this season. Something had to give tonight. And we saw tonight that the defenses were the sides of the ball that prevailed. Only one offensive touchdown and two scores by Udawah's defense. Yeah, Udawah scoring nine points, an early scoop and score by A.J. Diggs, the safety, senior safety from Udawah. Then you also had a safety by, or a, yeah, a safety by um, linebacker Tyler Reed, another senior on that defense. Got it started nine to nothing. Late in the second quarter, London Elrod was able to connect with Kobe Jones. That was kind of one of my key points on our roundup last Tuesday is Kobe Jones had a, had to score, him or Scotty Strickland. And Udawah's offense just didn't really seem to go on, but it was that defense that carried them. What what was most impressive from that Udawah defense? You'd have to think you'd have to go with number seven, Nick Putman. Definitely. Nick Nick had a heck of a night uh, rushing the quarterback tonight. All, all night, uh, Dodson was under pressure trying to throw the ball. Not really an offense where you want to throw the ball a lot, but they were forced into that, getting down in a hole early. And then – uh, late in the game really trying to have him throw the ball but Putman had uh, four sacks at least not sure yet but yeah I mean Pemberton even he credited Udwal's defense but he thought he himself could have called a better game for the Ray County offense so but definitely the Udwal defensive front seven for sure and even Noel Patterson got his, his yardage through the through the air at the receiver position so, but the pressure on the quarterback made the difference uh, late in the game. And let's speak about that. We've now seen Ray County twice this year on their first play of the game from at, when they were at home against Baylor three or four weeks ago. Now they came out passing. It was interception for six, and it seems like that game that was 47-14 to 14 back late in, or early November last year has seemed escaped. Mark Pemberton, he's he's passing a little bo a little bit more now. You do have the area's leading receiver in Noel Patterson, and the kid can flat out play some you know some football here, ladies and gentlemen. Because I mean, he had three or four just go up and get him plays, and he did that. And I mean, when you can connect over some of these defensive backs for Udawa, that's just impressive in itself. And Noel had a hell of a game himself. But with that being said, what is it about Pemberton? It just seems like they can't be consistent. You know, one run doesn't go wrong or, or a cut block or a pulling a guard doesn't go right. He's, he's quick to change the pass. He doesn't have, you know, Jacob Yord or Zach Dossett. So let's talk about Ray County real quick. They now are 3-2 and two on the season, 1-1 one and one in, in region play after beating out um, White County a couple weeks ago. And now they travel all the way to Indiana next week playing Cathedral, a huge Indiana powerhouse in Lucas Oil Stadium. For those of you who don't know, that's where kind of Peyton Manning made his home in Indianapolis. And now Andrew Luck taking over the home of the Colts. But what – what what does this Ray County team got to do to kind of move on from this? You know, this is not usual 16 to nothing, just kind of a defensive battle game. Yeah, I mean, they're still in great position in the region, of course. Got a break from region play next week, but tough matchup. Who knows what to expect out of that. But kind of regroup next week and kind of, I don't know, take a deep breath and enjoy the road trip next week. You know, who gets to play in Lucas Oil Stadium every week? Not many teams around here can say that, if any. But – you're still in good shape in the region. Kind of hope maybe someone upsets Udawa. It'd probably take two losses for Udawa since Udawa has the head-to-head -head over Ray County. But still, if you do win out in the region, go into the playoffs second round or second seed, still get to host two games possible, and then maybe a rematch with Udawa in the third round. Most definitely, and we know what Ray County can be, especially when it gets cold. We saw that last November when they were able to knock off this Ottawa team and get deep into the playoffs, eventually losing to the eventual state champion, Knoxville West. They'll see Coach Cummings and those Blue Raiders. They'll see Saudi Daisy still and McMinn County. So, big-time region play. But, you know, playing, Ray, you know, Riverdale all the way in week one, uncharacteristic for this Ottawa offense to kind of just – 
not put points on the board. Anybody who saw them last year, they were able to go up and down, up and down the floor with Edward Hayes and Anthony Turner, and also you had Funzy Kendricks and Kelvin Leon, the names just considered. And they're kind of sputtering a little bit. They go into a bye week, got to get some kids healthy, Taylor Stoltz, kind of went down with the ankle injury. Their senior linebacker was already heavily wrapped a broken wrist. Adrian Hall missed some extensive time there in the second and third quarter defensive back for Udawal. So Udawal going into the break, what do they do over the next two weeks to get ready for Saudi Daisy here two weeks from now? Well, I think having two weeks to prepare for Saudi Daisy will, will help with that pass, passing attack the Trojans will bring. But it's something they all see every day, in, every day in practice. This offense that they just shut out tonight is something they're not really used to. But I think um, the offensive struggles tonight really kind of – it is a little bit of Udawa execution, but also the Ray County defense is pretty solid in itself. But Coach Bryan said the same thing. It was a mixture of both, but you won't really find out until you watch the film really what happened. I think uh, Coach Aiken's offense coordinator was truly, really trying to get Cameron Turner involved in the run game, get a little run game down, and the drive they scored – it was, it was there at the end of the half, and they're really having to speed things up and score quickly and pass the ball just about every play, and that's really what we've seen out of Udawal, but that was the only drive they were able to be successful at it. I think they really need to find an offensive identity over the next two weeks. We know what they want to do, and we know what they like to do, and we know what they're good at. And I know, you know, consistently talking last year, they needed to get more from the run game. Well, you know, not taking anything away from Cameron Turner, but the offensive line here at Udawa just isn't built to run up and down on teams. It's more of a scat system, get people on the edges, zip, zip screens. You know, Rashawn Freeman coming in motion. But you got to get, you got to utilize some of these receivers. When you have Joseph Norwood, Scotty Strickland, Ethan Walls, Peyton Oliver, you need to somehow find the way to get them the ball. And I think they will. You know, I, I, I bet Coach Aikens will have something to say to me after that comment. But they need to find an offensive identity. And for Ray County, you like you said, enjoy your trip up to Indiana. It might be a trip where you kind of get to see a couple other players who haven't really played yet and find some little bit of depth because it is a it is a business trip per se, but it's not going to hurt them in the long run because they're playing an out-of-state team. But moving on, I still like both of these teams in 1-2 in the region, but Saudi Daisy really hanging around. Last we heard they were up on White County, but really hanging around. They'll come in here in two weeks. They were shut out last year. 40 to nothing against Udawal. So let's talk about that team. Let's talk about that matchup. You know, a couple weeks away. What's um What's Saudi Daisy going to have to do to top Udawa here at home, and what's Udawa going to have to do to kind of repeat the performance for tonight and shut out an offense that can score at will, just like we saw Ray Counties do before this matchup? Yeah, I think Saudi Daisy coming in here in two weeks. Uh, first of all, it's kind of the last thing on the right now, but we can talk about it. Uh, protect Justin Cook at quarterback. Allow him to have time if he's not. He's better out of the pocket. So it'll be interesting to see if he can stay in the pocket and avoid that pressure that the Udawa defense will for sure uh, give him. But maybe that might be one of those high scoring games that we expect out of the Udawa. I mean, Saudi Daisy's defense is much improved. Sure, but Udawa definitely has some questions uh, to answer on the offensive side. It will be interesting two weeks from now here when the Owls host the Saudi Daisy Trojans in another Region 4 5A matchup. A lot of more implications come on now that Udawa will get into the thick of region play. They had their four non conference opponents in four straight weeks there to start the season. But again, Udawa, big winners tonight, 16 to nothing over the Ray County Golden Eagles in our Week 5 game of the week. Next week, we'll be at Sequatchie County as they host Bledsoe County and kind of the Battle of the Valley per se. But again, we'll be there for John Neal and Eric Sisson. This is the Week 5 Red Zone Report.